Get me back to my home and you can go back to yours. Let's get off this thing! Enslaved Odyssey to the West is developer Ninja Theory's follow-up to their debut game Heavenly Sword. The nature-dominated post-apocalyptic landscape of Enslaved is a world completely separate from the Asian-inspired martial arts backgrounds of their first effort. But a red-haired heroine, penchant for drama, and the talents of Andy Serkis provide clear links to the team's past effort. Get this thing off, or I'm gonna rip your head off. Here players take on the role of the strong and warrior-like monkey. You'll escape your captors in the game's opening sequence, only to find yourself forced to protect the resourceful Trip, a fellow former captive who's fitted you with a special slave headband. If she dies, or you try to leave her behind, your poor monkey brain gets fried. If I die, you die. With no choice but to protect Trip and see her to her destination, you'll make your way through the environment together using a combination of Monkey's physical prowess and Trip's technical savvy. For example, Monkey can boost or toss Trip to areas she couldn't reach on her own, and she can in turn bypass electronic locks and distract enemies with a holographic decoy. The electronic headband cleverly justifies game elements like your on-screen health display and ability to communicate with Trip, and your capture of a dragonfly surveillance robot logically provides helpful fly-throughs of upcoming areas, highlighting potential problems and opportunities. Getting both characters through their environment is your priority. The robot remnants from the past constantly stand in your way. Trip can stun enemies with an EMP blast if she gets into a tight spot, but it's up to Monkey to do the dirty work of deactivating any malicious machines. You fight your way through with various upgradable moves that include staff strikes, counterattacks, and power moves, as well as long-range plasma attacks that add a traditional shooting element to the gameplay. You'll also find a strong problem-solving element integrated into the moment-in-moment -moment traversal and combat. Obstacles such as a series of raising and lowering bridges demanding both teamwork and brain power, and some of your encounters with bigger enemies will also take some careful consideration to overcome. Once you have the situation figured out, Monkey's muscle will often be the deciding factor. As a game clearly invested in telling a story, Enslaved looks to provide a very directed experience. While you can manipulate the camera freely in open areas, the game frequently picks an angle to highlight the path forward, often consisting of a series of handholds, steel beams, and platforms that lead to quick and nimble traversal. Fights are also imbued with cinematic touches. Scripted takedowns convey Monkey's savage power, and slowed down close-up finishing blows reveal the aggression in the character's eyes. Cutscenes and in-game dialogue bring the relationship between Monkey and Trip into the foreground, with an initially forced, uneasy alliance gradually shifting toward mutual care and respect through the first few hours of the game. Come on. Come on. The story feels like it could be a strong element in the finished game, but of course, the tale is yet to be told. I mean, I know what you meant. As far as we know, you'll be in Monkey's shoes, or more accurately, his bare feet, throughout the journey. But after encountering an unexpected element in a hovering disc, it looks like there's certainly room for surprises. We'll be able to measure the true worth of the pair's journey in our full review when the game reaches store shelves in early October. Monkey, watch out! That was incredible!